Hello again, it's Joey John Maguire. I'm about to recite the second of two poems done this weekend. This one done in the early hours of this morning, a few hours ago. It's called Bare Bones of Truth, and it's the poem that links with the title page of my new book, The Bare Bones of Truth. The look of shock, horror personified. We've all seen it in others, the living or the dead. Yes, the dead. And worse still, how our feathers are ruffled when we see it in ourselves. The bare bones of truth, clinically sterile, uncorrupted, and we all demand it. It's what we all expect, the nitty gritty. No smoke screens, they only serve as irritants. The truth is what we all search for in the end. Truthful honesty, not a big ask really, but how many of us live up to our own expectations? Lies come easy when they're poised on the tip of a tongue, and we're all capable of providing whoppers when required. That's why most of us recognize them when we hear one and we can spot them coming from a hundred paces. We should take care in what we wish for. Truth has an uncanny way of disappointing, an unpleasant regularity of proving everything to be a lie. Shock, horror, agony. We've all seen it happen. Don't pretend you haven't, because that in itself is a lie. Friend, neighbour, brother, sister, all primed and ready to be sadistic rapists and murderers. Psychopaths have no conscience. Horror is their drug, and they just love to rip apart innocent hearts. They do it with precision and a smile of satisfaction on their face. The bare bones of truth. I want none of them. You can keep them if you like, if it makes you feel better. But be warned, they are the devil's creation, and I, for one, will choose to settle for the lies.